Hey everybody, welcome back. So you almost made it. Thanksgiving is just right around the corner. You can almost taste it. We're gonna have some time off, uh, get a chance to integrate some of what we've been learning recently, uh, take a deep breath before we come back and close out the semester. So I'm really proud of everybody for making it to this point. Um, things are getting rough out there. Stay safe, uh, be careful, uh, take good care of yourselves, watch out for the people around you, don't do dumb stuff. Um, you know, things are gonna get, you know, we just have to wait a few more months, maybe another half a year, uh, things will improve. Uh, but I hope that we all make it through that together. So you are not alone. Um, make sure people around you know that as well. All right, so today's lesson is on quicksort. Uh, quicksort is sort of the wild child of sorting algorithms. Um, when it works well, it works very well. It has some nice properties. And when it works poorly, it works pretty poorly. Um, so we're going to look at both cases. We'll implement a portion of it, just like with merge sort. Uh, yesterday with merge sort, we did merge together and you did merge sort. Today we'll flip it around. We'll do part uh, quick sort together and you'll implement partition, which is sort of the tricky bit of it as the homework problem. So hope you enjoy. Uh, it's fun stuff. Uh, I will see you at the bottom. 